Hey guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David, and tonight I'm going head to head with Ted, 2012. A big hey, hi, and hello to all of you, but to returning viewers, and especially returning subscribers, what's up? This is gonna be a little bit of an intro because we have some things to talk about. So if this is not your thing and you wanna go straight to the reaction, I totally understand. No harm, no foul. I'll put bookmarks down below so you can jump right to it. But for everybody else, I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate all the love and support and messages that you guys have sent us since we lost our sweet little best friend, Dolce. Uh, I'm gonna talk for a little bit about that because I appreciate all of the messages of support that you've you've sent. So if this is not your thing, I totally understand. If you're just here for the reaction, I get it. You're like, what the hell did I walk into? All good, I'll bookmark it below. You can just jump straight to that. But for everyone else, uh, again, I just wanna talk for a minute with you because you have no idea how much your messages of support, the good vibes you've sent, the thoughts, the prayers, all of that have meant so much to us over the last several days. You know, Mark is not up here right now, but he definitely wanted me to share with you how much he appreciates it. He'll be back up here soon to watch more movies, Game of Thrones, other stuff. Um, and of course, I've got Valentina up here with me. Uh, you know, she misses her little sister. So, I mean, yeah, rough days, rough days around the household. And I cannot tell you how much it meant to me and to Mark to read your comments and the messages you sent us of support and love. Not one person said anything about, oh, it's just a pet, oh, this is, not one. And I had several people actually threaten to kick some asses of anybody that did say something like that. So thank you to you guys too for having our backs. Everyone was so compassionate. You guys have once again blown me away with the love you've shown and the support uh, it's, it's just, I, I, it's just beyond me. It's just beyond me. And, and I will forever be grateful. And, and so will Mark and so will little Valentina because you truly have helped us get through a very, very, very difficult time. And I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will always be appreciative of that because of you. So thank you so much. So now to happier stuff. Okay. So I clearly could not handle a drama today. It's all comedy. It's just, it's just gotta be comedy. I, picked Ted and I'll tell you how this came about. We actually watched Still Magnolias on Dolce's last night as part of a family night. That was a mistake, but there's a line in it that is laughter through tears is my favorite emotion. And so I thought definitely we need to watch comedy. Ted is one of those movies I never saw, even though I have seen a lot of comedies uh, because next to horror, which I was always afraid to watch, comedy was my easy genre to watch that I loved. So seen a lot of those. Never saw Ted though, because honestly, just being frank with you, it looked really dumb. And you know I love some dumb stuff, but it still looked really dumb. It was like the Charmin Bear, which I didn't get. And it was uh, Mark Wahlberg, who I since have come to love quite a bit, but at the time, for some reason, just didn't really care for him either. So even though I really enjoy Seth MacFarlane and Family Guy, I, I, I never, gave it much attention really. Uh, and then what changed besides kind of coming around to Mark Wahlberg was that I saw a clip. Now I realized this one is from Ted two, if I'm not mistaken, but it was Liam Neeson buying cereal and interacting with Seth MacFarlane as, as the bear. And I laughed my ass off. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And I was like, Oh my God, I've been so wrong. I had misjudged this movie. Uh, and then all this happened and I thought, you know what? I need an easy go to that seems like it's going to be a guaranteed laugh. And so, here we are. We're not going to do a big thing like we usually do of for the unedited version. And please like, share, and subscribe. You guys know all that. Today, I just want to really want to watch a movie with you and just relax and try to shake off um, just the heaviness we felt for the last several days, if even just for a couple of hours. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much again. And I'm so glad you're with me today. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to turn our hymnals to page 2012 and watch Ted. It was Christmas Eve in a town just outside Boston. Okay, so Boston, so naturally, Wahlberg. When Boston children gather together and beat up the Jewish kids. <laughs> it's Jesus' birthday tomorrow, God. and you know what I'm gonna get him? My fist in your fucking face! Why would Jesus want that? Yeah! Oh my God, the poor kid. Can I play? Get out of here, Betty! Get lost! These kids Betty, are the worst! Get lost! Even the little Jewish kid's coming after him now. Christmas morning finally came. All the children were opening their gifts with holiday glee. Oh, Nintendo, yeah. Darth Vader, yeah, this is, the, this is the good stuff in this house. For little John Bennett, a very special new arrival. 
Let me guess. It's the bear. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Merry Christmas, John. Oh, it's a uh, old girl. Oh, I love her. Alex Borstein, I think is her name, right? Lois. I love you. I wish you could really talk. We could be best friends forever and ever. Oh, that's, that's the wish. This is the Zoltar moment, right? Nothing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. There we go. Except yep. an Apache helicopter. It is an unbelievably impressive complement of weaponry. <laughs> Help me! Ah! <laughs> You're my best friend, John. Oh, I thought it was going to be the Ted voice immediately. So, okay, so he's going to grow up, I guess, like the kid does. We've had a wonderful Christmas this year. And I particularly enjoyed the gift you gave me last night. <laughs> Those veneers just make it a smoother ride for me. Oh, God! Mom, Dad, guess what? My teddy bear's alive! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Jesus, it's Oh, my God! <laughs> I made a wish last night that Teddy was alive, and my wish came true. You're just like the baby Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Talking bears, veneer blowjobs, uh, Boston. Has magically come to life. Look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! What are you doing, Come on, you fuck off! Japanese news is wild. So I kind of like that he's known, you know, because I thought this was going to be one of those kind of like from the outset, it would like he sees him and hears him, but nobody else does, right? Or something like that. I didn't know. So where are John and Teddy today? Nobody gives a shit. There we go. And, and now we're on to the Seth MacFarlane side of the movie because it really felt, you know, in the beginning there, like a uh, sweet little story, right? And now we get to the dirt. Ted's going through his rebe rebellious phase, right? <laughs> I mean, that's good. Oh, Mila! I didn't catch your name earlier. Aw, I like Omila Kunis. <laughs> Riding the dog. Do you, ever, do you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah! Had it! Had it! Oh, God, that was so good! Now I'm gonna stuff my fucking face with Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> Shit, I gotta get to work. I don't know if I can drive. Big blocks, little feet don't reach. Liberty rent a car. I gotta tell you one thing, I do love me some boss. Oh, Jesus, of course. Asshole! That's my bad, I was sending a tweet. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. I know, sir, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? I wasn't really prepared for a follow-up question. <laughs> Honest. All you gotta do is not fuck up, and you get my job when I go to corporate next month. $38,000 a year branch manager who's personal friends with Tom Skerritt. <laughs> Does this mean we're gonna get a Skerritt uh, cameo, I assume? I'm not gonna let you down, Goose. <laughs> Liberty, Fast Track, Skerritt, John. Thank you, sir. I don't know why I didn't like Mark Wahlberg anymore than I did, but I don't know, it's just one of those things. You look like shit, man. What happened? My phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up. Well, do you think you're part of some, like, gay beat-up underworld? I might be gay. I don't know. Hey, do you mind covering for me? <laughs> I love this guy. Laura and I have been dating four years tomorrow. I want to take her someplace really nice. My longest relationship was, like, six months, and then she farted in her sleep. I'm like, I'm out of here, man. I was gone before she woke up. <laughs> He's so f***ing weird. I love him so much. After four years, maybe she's hoping for something more than dinner. I'd be expecting a proposal. Put the ring in her ass, let her fart it out. <laughs> oh my god. So, how's Ted gonna respond? Because I assume the engagement is imminent now that it's on the table, right? And I see he's been like all oh, cool with it till now, but I wonder how they'll get along whenever it becomes official. I mean, you don't think she's gonna be expecting something big, do you? What, like anal? <laughs> god. Who are you? Flash Gordon. It's a terrible idea. I mean, you got the economy. You got the, the credit bubble, the Supreme Court. I mean, look at Haiti. <laughs> Just throwing it all out there. What do you got there? Turkey burgers. Are, are we having homosexuals over for dinner tonight? <laughs> Just you homos. Whoa. Whoa. I like how she holds her. And I love Mila Kunis so much. I just always have. She's one of my top tier people because she seems very down to earth. Bad moms. I mean, come on. Chow Bell is a really expensive restaurant, so we can go anywhere else tomorrow. I really don't care as long as we're together. Oh, he needs to marry this girl. Fucking cocksucker, motherfucker! Q-Ted, I'm about to say, Thunder Brothers forever. Thunder Buddies. Fuck you, Thunder! You can't get me Thunder, because you're just God's fuss. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh my god. Laurie, can you set the alarm for 11 a.m.? I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. The crack of 11. Oh, she's a fancy lady. Where does she work? Public relations. That's a little flustered. My boyfriend can't sleep through a thunderstorm without his teddy bear. I just wish he would get his life together. You oh, should give so him she an ultimatum. She does with the bear then. It's you yeah. or the bear. Oh, that won't go well. Well, hello there. Joel McHale. Lori, I need to see you in my office. <sighs> So already it seems like Ted is like, obviously, I kind of like, okay, now I kind of, we'll I'll talk about this at the end, but I kind of respect now that they're using the bear as a symbol of friends versus your significant other. Now, if you look close, you can see the outline of my root. God. I mean, with my top of the pyramid Caucasian jeans and your splash of Baltic. Goodbye, Rex. So he's going to be the fly in the ointment character, right? Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Would you like me to wrap your leftovers? Could you wrap just this up for me? I want to scare the shit out of somebody. Sure. <laughs> Clever. Ooh, Crystal. Hey, all those rich black people can't be wrong, right? <laughs> is he is he proposing? Doesn't feel like four years, does it? Chris Brown can do no wrong! <laughs> Check this shit out. Oh! Oh shit! Ah. Does it hurt? She's like, it's getting better. I have cool moves. Yes, so do people with Parkinson's. That's not how I remember it. Okay, how do you remember it? Oh, hell yes. Airplane reference. So good. I did a good job. But they have to show the fighting Girl Scouts. If they show the fighting Girl Scouts, then I'll really have respect for this throwback scene. Now, I know we said no gifts, but... We said no such thing. I wanted to give this to you for a long time. Oh, earrings. Oh. Those are the ones you like, right? From that kiosk at the mall? Dude. Yeah. Don't. If you're ever going to do jewelry on an anniversary, at this point in the relationship, better be a ring. Please ask Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. All right, look, I was not a popular child. I could have wound up like that Asian kid at Virginia Tech, but I didn't because of him. Oh, my God. Typical McFarlane not pulling any punches, right? Can we talk about this another time and just enjoy our anniversary dinner? Yeah, so here, so here we're setting up the conflict. Yeah. Phone call in the seat somewhere. Can you call it? Yeah. Is that my ringtone? <laughs> what is it? Because it sounds negative. Oh, no, no, it's it's from uh, the notebook. From the notebook. My favorite of the music from Star Wars, by the way. I mean, the main title scene. If you remember from watching the reactions, have you seen those? The main title sequence gets me the most, but I gotta say, Secret Land Love, the Imperial Death March, the most. The ladies and I were just watching Jack and Jill. It's just awful. It's unwatchable. But, you know, they're hookers, so it's fine. <laughs> there is a shit on my floor! That's probably what Deirdre was doing over there. Remember, she was crouched over in the corner for a really long time. Oh! <laughs> is that a shit? Yeah. Not cool Ted. Again, I love how we're just normalizing the bear, like... I do like that aspect, though, that they made it to where everyone knows about him, because I really do think it was going to be the other way around, that... They think he was crazy or something. Meaning they would think that, you know, Marky Mark is crazy for talking to me. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, look at this guy. I went to New York once in 1981 and I just did not feel safe. <laughs> you gotta move out. My relationship is at a very delicate stage. Plus, a hooker took a shit in our apartment. <laughs> oh, God. Tell me when you get it. Oh, my God. I got some on my thumb. Oh, fing Deirdre. And we'll hang out all the time, right? All the time. Bring it in, you bastard. Come on. Aww. I love you. Oh, fuck. Shit. Sorry, that's the... Oh. I'm, I'm not gay. I know. Yeah, you're <laughs> not gay, so we're fine. I'm not gay, so we're fine. You get the job, we're celebrating after, okay? And if I don't get the job, are we still going to smoke that pot? Probably, yes. <laughs> win, win. So you think you got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your oh, wife's it's pussy on my breath. death from Life Goes On. Oh, my God. You're hired. Shit. <sighs> yeah, I like that that you know angle when they do that in shows and movies where you speak truth to power, right? And so they respect it, but it's a very risky game. Sorry to bother you, but uh, my my son and I couldn't help it. Oh, there he is. I forgot he was in this. Oh, um, thank you. Thanks. Saw his name at the beginning, but I I totally forgot about him. I remember seeing you on the Carson show. That was a weird interview. Ed thought I was Alf, and he kept muttering anti-Semitic comments. <laughs> Look, we're very interested in the bear. If, if you want to make some sort of arrangement, you can call me anytime, okay? we Will do. Into the water. Mark swears we saw him in Boston, by the way. 
And if I ever show him any of this, he's just never going to let it go now that we really did see him now that he's in a movie that takes place in Boston. But Mark could have sworn he saw Giovanni Ribisi walking down the street when we were in Boston. Had a little bit to drink. Well, I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. First night on your own. Yeah, and the guy said it ain't hardly had no murders in it, so that's good. <laughs> I'll be fine. I know you will. Oh, I don't like this. It's kind of sad seeing him on his own. I know what you did with Ted wasn't easy, and I don't have to be at work for another 20 minutes, so... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Using her sexual currency. I see you, Kunis. Got a Flash Gordon ray gun? Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> that I like. Who's that over there? Oh, well, that's the new checkout girl. Very cute. You know what I like to do to her? Something I call a dirty fuzzy. <laughs> What's her name? Tammy Lynn? Oh, God. Just call her Jamie Lynn. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, all right, so that's where we'll draw the line. Too far. Too, oh, look at the eye. The eye's got to close. That's funny. I actually went through something like this with my last boyfriend. Really? They got deported back to Iran, so. Well, I guess we both lost our furry little guy. We sure did. <laughs> oh, he's got the good ringtones. Swing by for a bit. I got the Cheers DVD box set, oh. and the guy down at the store told me that everybody talks shit about each other in the interviews. I couldn't turn that down either. Lori tried to break up a dog fight. Oh my God. One of these dogs clamped his jaws on her forearm and wouldn't let go until the fireman showed up and had to stick his finger in his ass. <laughs> dog's ass, right? Yeah, the dogs are not the fireman's ass. <laughs> Very specific. It's like Joey on Friends with a Raccoon. Was there cocaine on the set of Cheers? Um, are there naked dicks in gay porn? <laughs> Woody Harrelson. Smallest dick I've ever seen on a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice touch. You know, this place looks great. Oh, thanks, man. It's all uh, Ikea. Did the whole place for $47. <laughs> There's an Asian family living next door, but they don't have a gong or nothing, so oh, it's not too bad. That's lucky. Oh, my God. I met a girl. No way. That's awesome. Yeah. White trash name. Yes. Brittany? Nope. Tiffany? Nope. Candace? Nope. Nikki, Kelsey, Shauna, Jolene, Early, and Claudine, Savannah, Casey, Dolly, Kendra, Kylie, Chloe, Devin, Emily, fucking Becky? Nope. Oh, my God. Any one of those names with a Lynn after it? Yes. Brandy Lynn, Heather Lynn, Tammy, Tammy Lynn. Fuck! Oh, my God. That was amazing. That was really good. And I got to tell you, as someone who grew up in Hicksville, that's pretty good. For God's sakes. <laughs> Stick your finger in the loop on my tag. Oh, my God. That took guts. We need guts. I'm promoting you. promoted. You got a oh lot of my problems, God. don't you? Frank. Hey, Ted. Jesus. Oh, Rabisi. Are you out here all alone? Uh, you're never alone when you're with Christ. So, no, I'm <laughs> not alone. <laughs> oh, my God. I can night. offer you $6,000 in railroad bonds. Well, it's railroad bonds. Since I just returned from active duty in the Civil War, that actually... Exactly, sounds... right? Okay. I'm going to have to decline. Can I just get a hug? Oh, uh... No! Uh-uh, run, run. You know, thank you for creeping up my night, and Jesus be with you okay. in Christ. <laughs> I don't know what it says about me that I was actually nervous during that scene that the talking bear might get kidnapped by Giovanni Ribisi. Words I never thought I would say, but yet I'm still enjoying the movie a lot. Quite a bit, actually. But then she had a miscarriage, and so we ended up getting to go skydiving. <laughs> God wanted me to go skydiving, you know? Oh, Jesus. God. Or Jesus. Him too. Could be him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always interested in meeting the lady that can snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? Oh, Lord, here we go. You just worry about your own snatch. How about that, honey? Whoa, whoa, hey. whoa. What the hell whoa, happened? It's not whoa, my fault she oh. can't speak English. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I miss Boston. You're lucky I'm in my fucking restaurant clothes. I gave birth once, bitch. I could kick your fucking ass. <laughs> you okay, me? come Ever. on, come on. I didn't know you had a baby. Is it alive? <laughs> John, I need a man. Not a little boy with a teddy bear. I just fought it. That was a man fight. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I will say this. They're doing a really good job of her character as being, like, kind of demanding, but in a way that's not so off-putting. Like, did you really just fart? <laughs> yeah, but I pushed it that way with my hand. Do not <laughs> that up. Who did this to us? 
<laughs> okay, that's funny. But yeah, but they're making it to where like she's 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 demanding, but not like in a way that like turns me off to her. And I don't know, I'm already a fan of hers anyway, but I'm just saying like it's okay, it's it's written well. Hey you squirt, how you doing? Where's your bunny rabbit? Oh my god, this house is fucking huge. I know. <laughs> Try not to get lost. Come on in. Oh my god, he's such a douche. His boxing gloves worn by Joe Lewis in his first fight. This is art. Get it? My art's from Marshall, so no, I don't I don't get it. It's Lance Armstrong's nut. Oh. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so I'm having a little impromptu thing with some people at my apartment, and John, Sam Jones is here. Flash fucking Gordon. Oh, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon is the symbol of our friendship, John. Come share this with me. I'll be right there. I'm coming. Oh, and he's gonna leave her with uh, Mikhail. Oh. Look, I'll be back in like 30 minutes tops, okay? I got your back on this. She won't know, I've been- Oh, come on. Thank you, I'll be back. I'm gonna have sex with your girlfriend. Exactly. Come on, Mark Wahlberg. I like that. It wasn't necessary at all, but I really enjoyed that actually. <laughs> nice. Where's Flash Gordon? Okay, get ready. Hey, Sam, this is the guy I was telling you about. him? Nice with the the wind going through the hair. This actually really has like Adam Sandler. They even mentioned Adam Sandler earlier, but this has Adam Sandler vibes for me. I thank you for saving every one of us. We're well, welcome. <laughs> he acknowledged it. <laughs> we are gonna party like the '80s. Show us how, Flash. We just gotta nail a lot of girls named Stephanie. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I would actually really enjoy going to a party at Ted's house. This looks like a really fun night. And cheese puffs. Oh my God. Well, you never should have trusted me. I'm on drugs. <laughs> oh, come on. I do not sound that much like Peter Griffin. <laughs> I was telling much like Peter Griffin. Funny. Come on, Sam, do it. Do it! Come okay. on! Oh! Oh! Yes. I you oh oh my oh, God! This got intense fast. You break on my wall, you bastard, man! We're sorry, it was an accident, okay? Why the duck? You break me any dollar for wall? Death. He's on Domain. cocaine. Oh my God! What is happening in this movie? <laughs> the little foot. Come on, James Franco. <laughs> James Franco. What a party. Hey. Oh. Hey, guy. This is uh, Jared. Oh, holy sh Hey, Jared, let's go grab uh, another one of these. Oh, my God, Ryan Reynolds. Even if I hated this movie, which I do not, I would have loved it just for that moment. That is so awesome. That one scene alone was just worth the whole movie. I mean, not just the Ryan Reynolds part, but I mean, like, the whole scene. Flash Gordon and the duck and all of it. Just crazy ridiculousness look i'm sorry i messed up i need you out of the apartment tonight yeah we'll fight yeah it's amir that, that guy from your office is in there on the couch making out with that van wilder looking guy <laughs> nice i'm never gonna have a life with you around all i do is smoke pot watch movies with a teddy fucking bear i'm sorry i i gotta be on my own ted i can't see you anymore that's getting real penny can's getting real and if you get that reference, let me know in the comments because nobody ever catches when I say penny cans getting real. I have major respect for you. I have tickets to Nora Jones at the Hatch Shell tonight and I would love it if you'd go with me. Nora Jones, well, that takes it back. Fine, sure as hell beats crying no myself way. to sleep every night. And if that means getting you off my back, well, that's just a bonus. Yeah, win-win. Johnny, open the door, please. I want to talk. Oh. I saw Laurie leaving the apartment with Rex. What? There he was, picking her up. You're fucking unbelievable, you know that? Johnny, it's the truth, I'm telling you. Yeah, this is true, yeah. You cannot take responsibility for anything that goes on in your life. You know something? I didn't tie you up and drag you to that party. That's your choice, John. Fair point. Bear point. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. <sighs> oh, it's way harsh, Ty. Okay, I was going to save this comment for the end, but I have to say, right now, I will never question Mark Wahlberg's acting again, because... Oh, the Holy Bible. 
Oh, the Gideons didn't intend for this. But for him to like be able to act against nothing like this or whatever's coming at him is just really good on his part. The whole scene actually, like, this is this is very good the way they're filming this. Oh my god. Magna Cox. Why are you crying? My dick is squished by the TV. Yeah. We can get it back. You remember when you hit that squirrel with your BB gun and we tried to give it CPR and it came back to life? We crushed its rib cage and blew out its lungs trying to give it CPR. It died. <laughs> my God. We're going to the hat shell. I, it, it's just such a combination of, on one hand, what is this movie? But on the other hand, I am really enjoying it. And Nora Jones, I mean, as they say, this movie has it all. Thanks, we're gonna take a short break, but we'll be back in a few. Hey, play chopsticks, you jazzy slut. Teddy! <laughs> Half Indian, but thanks. Yeah, whatever, thanks for 9-11. Hey, listen. Oh my God. You ready to bring down the house? Yes, ma'am. Please give a big hand to John Bennett. Mm. I gotta fuck her again. <laughs> I love that Nora Jones was game for this too, by the way. That's awesome. This is for Laurie Collins. Uh, this is the theme song from oh. the movie Haunt the Pussy. Oh, I thought it was uh, at the club. All I wanted was a sweet distraction. Still better than Katy Perry. Uh-oh, uh -oh. what's happening here? Oh, oh, oh my God. Jesus. He was doing spectacularly bad though up until then, but she loves him. Let me talk first, all right? And then you can say whatever you want. John loves you very much. I told him to bail on you that night at Rex's and he said no. That's true, he did, yeah, that's true. So if you go down there and just talk to him, I'll be gone when you get back, forever. Mm, I don't like where this is going. Because the reservations I may have had, now I'm on Ted's side a little bit, and I want there to be a way they can all coexist together. So I don't like the way this is headed. Michelob Ultra Tuscan Orange Grapefruit. <laughs> My God, America is imploding. <laughs> perfect line at the perfect time. Hi, Ted. Fuck. Ah, good job. Okay, I was... I. That's actually really good because I was thinking, okay, it's like a normal movie, just going through its motions. We're almost done. And then I like the way they threw that in there. A little wrinkle. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Welcome home. It's kind of funny, actually. I got a lot of pictures of you guys at my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing you guys uh, don't have a PS3. I'm guessing you're more of a wooden horse with a wig kind of family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's actually really funny. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's the guy. <laughs> Look, and there it is. It's a nice fucking <laughs> example, you said. Language! Sorry, sorry. Nobody does crazy like Rabisi. He is just so good at that. He's got that quiet rage. Happy playtime. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Daddy gave me an out. I have to give you an out. Oh, God. This went dark quick. Your dad likes you to show good manners, right, uh, Tubby McFatfuck? Okay. <laughs> Six. Seven. Tubby McFatfuck. Hey, no peeking now or you'll get kid cancer. <laughs> oh, my God. Your beast, he's got the moves. You walking home alone, huh? Yeah. Do you need a lift? Oh, I'm okay. I mean, if I get raped, it'd be my fault for what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, he's trying to call him. Ah, and he blocked the number. Yeah, yeah. Look, whoever this is, is not a good time. They got me. That freaky guy from the park and that kid who I think is his son, but yes. may also be his lover. I don't know. <laughs> it's fair. Hello? Oh no. Hello, John. <gasps> Hello? He cut the unit in. Go, take oh, he gave me his card. That's right. He gave me his info. Oh, thank God he didn't throw it away. Oh, Jesus. Not in the basement. Nothing good happens down there. what I tell ya? Mm-hmm. Build a bear nightmare down here. Mm -mm. 
Let me out of here, you crazy bastard. Let me... Oh, oh, I hear the fat kid running. I bet it's hilarious. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, the writing, is just so good in this. I swear to God, it's just so good, the jokes. Jordan! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. That's them, that's them. Back off, Susan Boyle. <laughs> Best line yet. Holy sh! Hey, Johnny, total TJ Hooker, right? Yes, fucking A, right? Oh. Oh, shit! No, my. Mm. There he is, pull over. Ah. Come on. You can't have my daddy back! This kid's going down. Yeah, exactly. Good job. Somebody had to go Joan Crawford on that kid. Oh, I love it. Joan Crawford in his first rodeo, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> the music. So dramatic. Who are you, pal? I belong to John Bennett. But I Damn can right. give you love and rocking horses and dancing. I think we're very far apart on this. <laughs> Like, I know it, like he's just a bear, but that's like kind of horrific. It's like a polyfill nightmare. You're gonna be okay, buddy. You understand? Jesus, I look like the robot from Aliens. Excellent reference. Don't ever lose her again. She's your thunder button now. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going for it. Oh, but I don't like that. That's not good. He has to make another wish. job but as long as it gets it gets it done make a wish oh maybe she has to make the wish maybe like if she wishes it brings him back girl there's way too much light pollution in Boston there's no way you see that many stars but as long as you can find one to wish on that's all that matters so there she goes Surprise. Oh, maybe not. Ah, there we go. Yay, Ted is back. Your magical wish worked. <sighs> nah, I'm just kidding you. I thought it'd be funny if you thought ah. I was fucking retarded. <laughs> oh my God. So wrong yet hilarious, but so wrong. I'm not going to wait any longer for my life this time. Why? <gasps> you marry me? Oh, yeah. All I ever wanted was you jump in it. Aw. I wasn't looking for that to be this kind of movie, but I'm not going to fight it. I enjoy that. John, Laurie, and Ted lived happily ever after, having discovered at last that all they really needed was each other. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Where's Ted? Where's he at? There he is. Oh, uh, with old Timmy Lynn Spears. Oh, and Tom Skerritt. Oh, my God. I almost forgot about him. My daughter better be alive, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I get I just... Ryan Reynolds. I mean, come on. There is. I feel like these are always... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know, Sam, there's only one way to end a perfect day. Flash jump. Fight. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my God, I mean. Ted was caught behind the deli counter eating potato salad off of Tammy Lynn's bare bottom. He was instantly promoted to store manager. Of course. Sam Jones moved back to Hollywood with his roommate, Brandon Routh. Ah, there you go. From that God awful Superman movie, Jesus. Hilarious. Robert got a trainer, lost a substantial amount of weight and went on to become Taylor Lautner. Nice. Love it. Oh my God. Perfect ending. That movie was so good. I am so glad I did not watch that before now because it would not have been the same without seeing it with you guys. That was just exactly what I needed and exactly what I hoped that this would be given everything that has been going on in the last few days. And if you watch the intro, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this was the kind of movie I will say 
This is one of those where, you know, you've got your serious movies. I believe they talked about this in Friends once where they were trying to figure out uh, who knew which roommates the best. And they talked about Rachel's favorite movies and her official favorite movie was Dangerous Liaisons. But her real favorite movie was Weekend at Bernie's. This is a Weekend at Bernie's. This is the one where... You know, if you can get past the premise that it's a bear and a man in his 30s and they smoke weed together and have a great relationship. And I mean, if you can if you can accept the premise, you'll have a great time watching this. This is one of those kind of movies. Right. And I felt like actually that was kind of the genius of it in a way, too. This occurred to me sort of as I was watching. I wanted to wait and talk about it afterwards with you and see what your thoughts are on this. But I feel like had this been a traditional buddy girlfriend slash fiance kind of comedy that we've seen so many times over and over still would have been enjoyable still would have been great but the fact that they change it up by by putting it into this sort of you know uh i guess packaging where it's his bear that he's had since he was a kid and and so we're just gonna pretend this is normal right at least in this world uh and it's not just you know a scuzzy bestie that's on his couch. It's it's the Charmin bear. I mean, which is what I just kept thinking he looked like the whole time. But anyway, so I thought that that was actually pretty clever. You know, when you think about it that way, that that set this movie apart because it could have otherwise just kind of gotten lost in the shuffle of any of those other type of movies like that that we've seen so many times over. Uh, I, I didn't look up a lot about this movie because, you know, as is the case with any of the movies I haven't seen before, I want as little knowledge going in as possible. Uh, so I don't know how much this movie made. Uh, I bet it's quite a bit. Uh, there's a sequel, so at least it made some money, right? But my guess is that this one did pretty well. Uh, and I can see why. I mean, Seth MacFarlane, come on. He's, he's, he's just a genius. I think so anyway. I'm sure there are people that hate him. There always are. You know, I, I loved Adam Sandler movies. Still do, actually. But I'm saying when I was younger... You know, those are my Seth MacFarlane movies. And my dad just thought Adam Sandler was a moron. He did not think he was funny at all. Still doesn't, actually. But I thought he was just a creative genius. And so I can see the same kind of thing with Seth MacFarlane as well. Uh, I haven't seen The Orville. Several of you mentioned watching The Orville. I think when we saw, what was it? Uh, oh, God. Uh, with, you know, uh, Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver, uh, Galaxy Quest. Uh, when we saw Galaxy Quest, so many of you uh, said, you need to check out The Orville because it's really great as well. And, and, I, and I still want to. I haven't seen that. But yeah, but so far, all I really know is Family Guy. And now... Uh, Ted. Cannot wait to see the sequel. I will tell you that. I don't know where we go from here, but I've seen that one scene with Liam Neeson. And if it's as good as that and as good as this was, I am in. Talking quickly about the acting before I let you go, I have to give props to Mark Wahlberg, to Mila Kunis, to all the supporting cast. They were all great. All of them, I would say, stayed in their lanes, especially the, the smaller roles from some of these otherwise really great comedic actors, you know, like Putty from Seinfeld, Patrick Warburton, I think is his name, and Matt Walsh, uh, Joel McHale. I didn't know a lot of the others. Uh, I recognize some faces, but I don't know them by name. Uh, but they did such a great job. Ryan Reynolds, hello. They did such a great job of having these amazing performances within this format uh, where they're interacting with what I'm assuming is nothing or some sort of, you know, kind of green screen type of computer generated blob or whatever that is then going to be turned into Ted later on. I don't know. But it is acting at its finest in these type of films, I will say. Oh, by the way, Giovanni Ribisi. Good Lord. That man is just a nut. He cracks me up. I have seen him go from the most dramatic roles to the to the performances like this, and he never misses a beat. So, so I'm gonna have to say special comment about him because he really, really was just hilarious in this dancing to Tiffany. I mean, come on, so, so, so good. So, anyway, again, this was exactly what I needed. I am so glad that you guys came along for the ride today. This allowed me to escape from what I've been dealing with for at least a couple of hours. And, you know, what more can you ask of films than to do that? That is a special gift, I feel like, that we get as an audience when you can, you know, just take some time away from whatever you're dealing with and laugh and, and just embrace the ridiculousness on some levels um, because that's really what movies like this should do. And in that regard, it was a 
home run, got to say. So thank you again for taking the time to watch this with me. I hope that you are having a great day slash night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble